Back to the arm, I believe. Yes. <clears throat> About the first of the stolen ones. Someone who tried to achieve a single sparkle. Someone who knew the mistakes they were making. Someone who continued to stand at the extreme. Someone who forgot how to look back. Someone who lost their face. Someone who lost even their form. Someone who by now has fallen into complete insanity. Someone who continues to scream for love while throwing it away. A fearsome being who stole 31 lives in order to preserve its own form. Um... Something tells me the Grand Prince might be one of these things. Just throwing that out there. Guy, what do you have to say on this subject? どこが操作していた。新型のクラッキングである。新型のクラックエンジンである。けれど、違う。大公爵の手で行われているこうと、それは本当に何かの実験であるのだ。それ、背後に立たせぬ彼らの引き出す実験か。クラッキング実験などでは
せず今田だとしにある現在時刻を記録せよクロッククラッククローム貴様の望んだその時だリムル・レムリン震えるがよいよい<笑>黄金螺旋階段の果てに我が夢我が愛の形あり愚かなものだよ大公爵あなたはまだそこを踏みしめてあなたはもうダメなのだな黙れ黙れ黙れ黙れ,黙れ<笑>A small door. To Kurtz, it was a secret place. A storeroom in which his father had hidden items for ten years ago, mostly imports from Sekyo. Kurtz and Sarah used to visit it frequently. Apparently, they once broke an old Sekyo in compass here as a prank. A secret place. Even now, it still is. The place where Kurtz had hidden someone. The thing which had appeared at his back after taking the drug. This is where he had hidden it. He'd closed and locked the iron door. The hair on the back of his neck stood up. He shuddered. Guy knew this feeling well. The Kikai Kurtz manifested was in there. It was still supposed to be writhing inside. Guy could certainly feel that. But there was a doubt. As far as Guy knew, he who stood at someone's back was connected to his host's shadow's feet by a long thread. However, Kurtz's shadow had no thread. He said he'd hidden it in there, but no thread was coming out. The girl's hand grabbed onto his coat sleeve. For a while, Guy simply stood there without a word. An iron door tightly closed down on a secret. Guy looked at it and. It's time to save! Because we're gonna fuck up and lose the game! On purpose. Overwrite the save data. Let us continue! He! Closed his eyes. Why not? I close my eyes. He'd leave this place. Yes, he whispered that to Kia. Guy looked up at the gray sky with his eyes closed. He could hear Kia's reassured voice, but somehow that voice sounded lonely. It was as if she'd given up on something. <laughs> He would probably never come to the upper tier again, nor would he remember those two. The illusion which should have been at the edge of his darkened vision. He heard the clown's voice once more. The clown ridiculed him on the spot. Everything of yours ends here. Now that you've lost sight of your own extended hand, you have nowhere to go. There is no tower of victory for you to climb. It's really saying that. It shouldn't have been any problem this way, and yet... Kurtz would never wake up again. He could no longer take the drugs sent to him. 
He wouldn't die, but he would never wake up. What could he do? Against the Grand Prince? Against the King himself? <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Well, shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm at a dilemma. So, at the time of recording this, I'm limited to 15 minute videos and I know the ending scene is gonna take more than the five minutes I'm allotted here actually four minutes now so I'm gonna have to end things here but that doesn't mean I can't fill it with some needless talk right so the Grand Prince has a daughter huh that's interesting ten years ago she went missing, eloped, was pregnant Went to a hospital. Would it be weird if Kia was the Grand Prince's daughter's daughter or something? That'd be neat. And then how I said uh, Kirkin might turn out to be a good guy? Despite the fact that he's killing people? But it's more like he's freeing them from being like tortured by the Kikin. What, what were they? The Zehoch? Is that, is something like that? The Z Z A H H A K, right? At their backs. The spider ones that are like bad. Huh. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. He is kind of a murderer. That's that's not up for debate. He is. But maybe him and Gee will end up working together to defeat the Grand Prince. And what is at the top of the golden spiral staircase that we keep kind of freeing every time we kill something? What is that? Its arm is escaping. It's like the other side of the uh, suit of armor that's behind Gi. That, because it's the opposite hand that Gi extends every time. The left hand's breaking free when Gi's using the right hand. So it's like, odd. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, will we free Kurtz from his bonds? Will we reunite Sarah and Kurtz? so that they can love each other and stuff. I think we should somehow get them down to lower tiers with us, just make them like a lope basically down there. That'd be neat, you know. They would not stand it like chance down there. They'd be really fucking like out of their element, used to all the fucking automatons and stuff that they got working for them, but you know, just throwing that out there. Anyhow, um I'm running out of things to say, so we're going to end this here for this one. Once I can make 15 minute plus videos again though, I'm gonna edit like all these fucking videos together into like a proper length video and cut this stuff out. So don't worry about that. July 10th is when that's gonna happen folks. So, mm, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop here and go ahead and record the um, next video because I'm on a roll. So. See you all next time in the land of Inganuk.